Hey guys, how are you? Just a quick question that I get all the time. Somebody asked me about what is the first stack they should learn to get a job, to quickly advance in their development career. I always recommend the web stack. That includes HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and then on the back end, you got a lot of options. You got uh, JavaScript again with Node and Express. You have PHP and PHP Laravel. You have Python, Django. You got all kinds of different things. But the web stack is my general recommendation because A, it offers the greatest amount of flexibility in terms of job opportunities. The web is king. Uh, number two, it offers uh, a lot of flexibility in terms of, t of the type of programming you're going to do. So what do I mean by type? Well, you have visual oriented programming where you're writing code for screens and visual types of, you know, visual types of apps, if you will. And you also have the ability to write uh, highly complex, detailed infrastructure level code, if you will, backend code, if you will. Um, I'm trying to avoid jargon in this video so that people don't get confused. But yeah, that's uh, basically it. If you want to get into development for the first time, I always recommend the web stack for those two reasons, the flexibility of jobs and the flexibility in the types of coding that you do. You can't go wrong because here's a reality about software development and code. Once you've learned one programming language, it's easy to learn the second and the third. And it's actually quite common for developers to move from language A to B to C, not only in their career, sometimes within six months. It's not uncommon. So don't get too caught up about it. Don't be too worried about it. You cannot, let me say this again, I'll leave with this piece of advice. And I'm Uncle Steph. I've been doing this since way before you were born, probably. You can't pick a wrong programming language. It's not possible to pick a bad one, except for Ruby. No, no, even Ruby is acceptable. Uh, I just, that's just a, a little bit of a Ruby joke. Anyway, people who watch my channel know that joke. All right, we'll talk soon.